During this lesson, you will be required to fill out a worksheet. I recommend you read through the worksheet before viewing the lesson. In order to give you time to do this, you can use the pause button at the bottom of the screen. Learning outcomes. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to list the functions of a restrainer, draw a sketch through a concrete curb showing the foundation, hunching, pavier, bedding, and hard car, including all dimensions. State what the gradient is. State the recommended fall for a brick paved driveway. And calculate the difference in height between one end of a paved area and the other. Restrainers, curb stones, and edgings. The three most commonly used edge restrainers are the brick curb, the concrete curb, and the bullnose curb. Restrainers or edgings play a crucial role in any paving job. Function of restrainers, curb stones, and edgings. Firstly, they prevent the paving from spreading and causing a series of problems such as vehicle or traffic forming indents, the pooling of surface water, grass or weeds growing in the loose joints, paving becoming loose and uneven. Secondly, they help define the edge of the paving and mark out the perimeter so channels may be installed if required. We can see an example of this in the diagram down below. We have a concrete curb bedded on top of a concrete foundation with a concrete haunching at the back of the curb in order to secure it. Then right beside that we have our channel block to accommodate our drainage. Falls. Before laying and fixing any type of paving, it is necessary to determine the amount of fall or gradient required to remove any surface water. If we look at the diagram opposite, we can see it's very important that the depth of hard core and the depth of the bedding sand is maintained uh, throughout the entire project. So in other words, the falls are not catered for uh, by changing or altering the depth of the bedding layer seen in the bottom of the of the diagram. A gradient is a specified fall. Recommended falls are between 1 and 40 to 1 and 80. The amount of falls should not increase the, increase the physical effort of walking. And falls should be directed away from the building or towards shores and channels. Remember, the smaller the fall, the steeper the gradient. So a fall of 1 in 40 is much steeper than a fall of 1 in 80. Calculating falls. Use the following formula to calculate a fall. Distance divided by the gradient is equal to the fall. So we have an example down below, but down below here. Uh, the distance is 12 meters, so and the fall is going to be, or the gradient is going to be 1 in 60. So we have 12 meters divided by 1 in 60 is equal to the fall. So 12 meters divided by 60 is equal to 0.2 meters. So 12 meters divided by 60 is equal to 200 millimeters. So we can see that over uh, a distance of 12 meters with a fall of 1 in 60, the drop is 200 millimeters. So the difference in height is 200 millimeters from one end of the paving to the other end over 12 meters with a gradient of 1 in 60. Conclusion. The function of a restrainer is to prevent the paving from spreading, help to define the edge of the paving, and to mark out the perimeter. A gradient is a specified fall. The re recommended fall for a brick paved pave driveway is 1 in 80. 
use the following formula to calculate the fall, or the difference in the height between one end of a driveway and the other. So the formula is the distance divided by the gradient is equal to the fall.